welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome. If you're not yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button down below. And if you have not done so already, please click that tiny bell icon so it notifies you every single time I upload a new video. So today I wanted to sit down and do my hits, misses, stuff I've been liking this month and stuff that I will just never, ever, ever repurchase again. So if you want to see that, then stick around. Okay, so the first product, when I seen this online, I was like hunting, hunting, hunting and couldn't find it anywhere. And online, it just said coming soon. I finally found it in Walmart and that is the Dr. Teal's body lotion. I picked this one up in Soothing Lavender. It smells so amazing. The Dr. Teal's bath products are really, really good as well. But this cream, if you have dry, dry skin, this cream is amazing stuff. And it has essential oils with cocoa butter, shea butter, vitamin E, and it smells so, so good. And lavender is a good scent for if you have like anxiety or panic attacks, depression. It's just a very calming, soothing scent, which I love. The, in no random order, I'm just going to pull stuff out. The next product that I've been loving is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Oh my God. I wanted to so not like this because it is pricey. I wanted to so not like this, but this has changed my life. This was life changing for me. This is something that I would pick up over and over again. This is what the pump looks like. Oh my God. I spray this on my face before I do my makeup. I pat it in, I let it dry, and then I just continue my routine. Sometimes I will splurge and spray it after my makeup is done. Not always because it is pricey and I just don't wanna use it foolishly, but this has been one of my favorite, favorite products this month. The next two products that I've been using so, so much this month that I always constantly use, that I will always constantly repurchase, and that is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and I have mine in the shade Light Beige, and the Urban Decay All Nighter in the shade 6.0. Now, 6.0 for me is just a tad dark, so next time when I grab another bottle, I will grab the probably 5.5. It does oxidize. Um, 6.0 is more like for like my summertime shade, but love this. Two of my favorite go-to high-end foundations definitely have to keep in stock. The next thing that I use religiously religiously with almost any foundation minus a dewy foundation because of the dewy foundation you don't need to use this but that is the urban decay drop shot oil i love this stuff it's just a little oil you put like two to three drops you can mix it with your foundation or what i do is i take two to three drops and i put it on my fingers and then i rub my fingers together and then I rub it into my face and then I wait for it to dry and then I put my foundation on. I love it because my my skin, my face gets very, very, very dry, especially in the winter, especially being diabetic, you always get like dry skin. So you've got to take that extra step to not make it be dry. But that Urban Decay Drop Shot is a game changer for me personally. It makes my matte foundations not cakey it doesn't make them sit on like the little dry patches i absolutely love this stuff and this is one product that i will constantly repurchase over and over again the next thing that i've been using so 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 much 
and I'm actually going to be doing two separate videos of a shop my stash and a project pan video so if you guys want to see those two videos comment down below and let me know if that's something that you're interested in because I have been doing it on my own but just not filming it so if you guys are interested let me know comment and I will film those two for you guys while I'm in the middle of doing it the Wet n Wild blush is one of the items that I will definitely be putting in my project pan. Um, this is in pearlescent pink. The top is coming off. But as you can see, I've really, really hit pan. This is something that I do want to finish so that I can move on to other products. Not because I don't like it. This is one of my favorite, favorite blushes. And I'll tell you why. Because it is an almost exact dupe for my favorite blush ever which is nars orgasm these two are almost a complete dupe for each other so if you guys can't or don't want to spend the money on the nars orgasm and you're looking for a more price friendly product and you love this one you could always pick up pearlescent pink i absolutely love this one because NARS orgasm is it has my heart it has my heart oh my god the next product that I want to talk to you about too is also one of my favorites but was able to find a dupe for it I got this it cosmetics superhero mascara in one of my boxy charms and I have not been able to stop using it I have repurchased it like a fool it's $24 for the mascara $24 for a mascara but I love it that much that I have to have it in my life I stumbled across a video and I will link her video down below in her name I'm drawing a blank I don't know why but she was talking about dupes and she was talking about a dupe for the It Super um, Hero Mascara. And I was like, bitch, tell me more. Because I need to know. Because I'm not spending $24 every time I need a new mascara. It's not going to happen. The Essence Mascara in the Lash Princess is almost an exact dupe for the It Cosmetics. So... If you guys don't want to spend the $24, you can spend the $5 and get the almost same price. This one it doesn't have as much of a thick consistency that the It Cosmetics has. It's um, a little less thick, but it does the exact same thing. I love this one because for me, it looks like I have false lashes on. It makes my lashes look full. It makes them look so fluttery and beautiful. So if I can get it for five instead of 24, you know what I'm buying. So these have been my favorites this month. The next thing that I picked up that, oh my God, no. I don't even know what brush this is. It is dirty because I did use it. This is one of the uh, Flower Beauty brushes and it's just a very angled. So what I like to do with these little angle brushes is like I like to go in and just really precisely get in underneath my eye before I blend anything out to pack those colors underneath my eye. When you feel it, it feels so soft and so nice. Once you put the product on and you're putting it wherever you're going to use it like I use it under my eyes so when you use it it feels like fucking razor blades goodbye no it was so painful no not doing it not doing it and, and like I love all of the flower beauty products but that brush is evil that brush just needs to go away Next three products that I have been loving this month are basically for your face and that is the Tammy Detox Mask in the Green Tea Blend. Oh my god. You guys. First of all, when you put it on, you're going to kind of look like the Hulk. 
but as you can see, it's almost empty. You know I have a backup. You know, you know I have a backup. It's almost empty. But I will scrape this because that it's that good. So basically what you do is you dampen your face and then you put the mask on. You let it sit maybe five, ten minutes till it hardens. And then you rinse it off or and you scrub it in and you rinse. Your face looks so clean, so hydrated, and like it has this glow to it. Like this natural glow that you've been missing your whole entire life. I love this stuff. Absolutely love it. The next face um, mask that I also have been loving, and I use this once a week because I don't want to overuse it, and that is the Purity Made Simple um, Pore Extractor. You guys. Oh my God. This product is something that I tried and didn't think like, maybe I'm not gonna like it. It was love at first mask. It was love at first mask. So you put this on, you let it sit the same thing like the other one, five minutes, 10 minutes um, until it dries. And then you can just rinse it off or when you put the water on your face, you can scrub it in and rinse at the same time. So scrubbing and rinsing in that motion and it cleans your face so, so beautiful. Oh my God, amazing. What I like to use after I'm done, my masks, all my, my skincare routine, I had gotten this sample with this and I picked up more of the, the little sample kit that they have from Purity. You can get it at Ulta. I don't know if Sephora has it. I picked it up at um, Ulta because I love that mask so much and I love, love, this is the Purity Made Simple Moisturizer. I love these two. So I was curious about all of the other products that they had in this line. So I bought the samples. I will be repurchasing them in full size. Oh my God. This stuff, when you first put it on, your skin does feel like sticky, but it goes away. And then like you just, skin just feels so soft and it keeps that beautiful glow. Oh, I love this. Definitely grabbing the full size so that I can have it on hand always. The next product that I've been loving is from Beauty Bakery and that is their cute little setting flower. Oh my God, guys. Ugh. Now you guys know I say it in a lot of my videos, I don't like the little sifter thing, but this stuff, this sifter in here, the holes are perfect. So you can get the amount of product out that you like. You don't get flashback and it doesn't leave that white cast on your face. I absolutely love that. I love using it to set my makeup in place. It's just a great, great product. The next thing that I have been loving, I've been trying to rotate through. Like I said, I've been doing my own shop my stash and I just, I have so much lipstick. I need to like start going through them and really, really using them. And I fell back in love with the ColourPop's Mamacita, which is the color I have on today. I like it, but when you have it on for like an extended time, your lips do start to hurt. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. I will take the hit for the pain because it's such a nice color, but I just wish that it didn't get like after a few hours painful almost to wear it, but I do like it. I did start falling back in love with it and I will finish it. The next couple of things that I've been loving this month are from LA Girl and this is their Shockwave liners. Now they have a bunch of colors but these are the ones that I did pick up. This is the blackest, blackest eyeliner ever. The colors go on so pigmented. I've been loving, loving those so much. The next thing in the eyeliner field that I have been loving is this NYX eyeliner. And this 
is the perfect point. Perfect. And look, it dries so quick. When, you know, when you put your eyeliner on the top, you want to do a wing. I don't do wings because I just don't, I, I just, I'm over it. I don't care for it too much. Yes, it does enhance the look, but for me personally, it's just not something that I care to be bothered with. But this dries so quick when you put it on. You don't have to worry about it smearing and going all over the place. It's just amazing. The next thing is my eyebrow pencil, which I... I can't live without this, guys. I can't. This is the LA Girl Brow Pencil, and it has a spoolie on the other end, and it has this little tip right here. Oh, my God. This is one of my, like, go-to, must-have, must-use, every single day eyebrow product. I've said it before. I love the Kat Von D eyebrow products. I love the Palmade. I, I love the pencil. But if I had to choose... It would be LA Girl every day, all day long, because it is just that amazing, especially for a drugstore. Amazing. Amazing. The concealer that I've been loving this month is from Flower Beauty, and I have mine in Light Illusions. I've just, I've just been loving, loving, loving it so much. This actually is a repurchase. I just finished one whole other flower beauty concealer for for a drugstore concealer most definitely a really 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 good concealer could i say really anymore like really one foundation that i picked up guys that i'm so on the fence with it's like right now we're having like this whole love hate relationship so i'm gonna put this like in the middle it's a hit but it's a miss for me and I'm trying to like find myself if I like this or not. And that is the Cover FX Foundation in Power Play. And I got mine in the shade G40, I think. Is that it? G40? Yep, that's it. I like it. I do. But there's so many factors that make me go i don't know if i want to use that one it smells it smells like paint you know when you pop open a fresh can of paint and you get that paint smell that's what this smells like so for me it's a little overwhelming especially you're putting it on your face you're blending it all around it does go away but that first initial, oh my God, am I putting paint on my face? No. So the smell does like make me not want to use it as often. The other thing is it, this will sit in any fine lines that you have. It will sit. Even if you set it, it still sits in those little lines. Like I have really, really deep smile lines and a lot of my foundations sit in my smile lines but if I set them and like you know you finesse them and you do what you got to do it looks decent it looks good sometimes you can't even see the smile lines where with certain foundations but this one be prepared to see all your smile lines or whatever fine lines you have so like right now I'm still trying to like decide do I like this do I don't is it a hit is it a miss I don't I don't know yet but it's in the middle so I just wanted to talk to you guys about that. The next product that I've been loving is another drugstore product, and this is from CoverGirl, and this is the Peach Punch Highlighter Palette. Oh my God, guys. This shade right here, it's so soft. It is life. Like, let's swatch it. It's not coming up. Let's do a better swatchy pill. Let's oh. And it smells like peach. It actually smells like the Too Faced Peach uh, products. And right there is that highlighter. I've been loving, loving using this. Loving it. Oh my God, it smells so peachy. So freaking peachy. Okay, I have this product here. 
You guys know I've tried a lot of e.l.f. stuff. I love e.l.f. I love, love e.l.f., okay? But anything that comes in a spray from e.l.f., anything that comes in a spray, it's pure evil. So I picked this up. And this is the e.l.f. Matte Blotting Mist with Kalon Clay. So you can see the clay in the bottom, right? You shake it up. Shake it up. We're going to shake it really good. I'm not spraying this. I'm just going to let you know. At me. So the clay still sits at the bottom. I'm going to spray it on my hand. It's evil. But not only for that, but it leaves your face soaking wet. And when it dries down, whatever powders are inside of there, leave little white dots all over your face. Oh my God, I discovered that. When, you know you're having that one day where like, you're like, damn bitch, you bad, you a badass bitch. Look at that makeup. I'm sitting there. I just finished doing my whole face. I didn't do my eyes yet. Did my whole face and I was like, oh, I'm going to try the new elf mist that I got. Spray, 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 spray. Wait, open my eyes, look in the mirror and I was like, what? What? I looked like a crazy speckled frog. I had white dots all over my face. And that's all I kept saying was, what? My daughter came in. I turned around and looked at her and she went, what happened? What did you do? I said, this. This is something that is a hell to the no for me. Because not only did I use it, but she tried to use it a few days later thinking she was going to be smart and shake it up, shake it up, shake it up really, 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 really well and just keep shaking it and then spray it really quick after she was done shaking it well and it wasn't going to happen. Oh, what happened? She looked like a speckled frog, just like I did. So for me, this is a big fat no. I'm just going to get rid of this. And two, like I love a good mister. I do, I love a good mister, but not an aggressive one. All of the e.l.f. misters that I've tried have been so aggressive. Like, you can hold it 50 feet away from you and it's still attacking you. Like, attacking you and you're like sloppy, sobbing wet. Not even like a good, like, wet. You're like a sloppy wet. So for me, big no. Don't even waste your time, guys. Honestly. Not gonna sugarcoat it. Really not. If you tried that and it's happened to you, please comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Okay, lastly, these are three makeup palettes that I have been loving, loving, loving this month that I just can't get enough of using. The first one is the Stila Eyes Are The Windows Shadow Palette, and this one is in Soul. There's two of them, I believe. I have the other one, I'm not, I don't know, I think the other one's Mind, but this is Soul, it does have a mirror, and these are the shades, they are so, so amazing such a pretty palette well worth it not a lot of color going on but just good amount of neutral looks that can be created just you know quick looks let's knock everything over quick looks dark looks i mean it th this palette has it all guys you know one one palette one look many looks multiple looks i don't know the next palette that I have been loving, I did get a while ago in my Boxy Charm, and it was sitting there, and finally I started using it and started playing with it, and I was like, why did I wait so long? Why didn't I use this right away? And I was so excited to get it, and like, what the hell? And that is the Vila's Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette, and this is the Holy Grail. It does have a giant mirror. And these are the shades. And it's actually the palette that I use today. I love these colors. I love hashtag 
these two down here are very pretty. This whole palette is just very pretty. And I'm so glad that I finally started playing with it and, and started loving it and enjoying it. My cat is chasing the birds out the window. And we're going to have a snowstorm today. So I don't know why the birds are flying around. Shouldn't they be out there like warm in their nest? So if you hear like smash, crack, bang, boom, it's the cat chasing birds at the window. Lastly, I have been loving the new Lime Crime Venus Extra Large 2 palette oh my god it does have a mirror but this is what she looks like look at those shades i love these like light greens the mossy greens the pinks like every color in here can be made into such a beautiful beautiful look like this shade in the middle oh and this one look at those colors guys so so pretty and this one oh i'll just keep swatching for you guys all day Oh my god, but those are the three palettes that I have been reaching for the most this month. What um, are you guys finding yourself liking this month, loving this month, or something that you were like, oh my god, never again, I will never, ever, ever, ever purchase that product ever again. Comment down below and let me know. But I hope you guys liked this video. Please, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye guys.